What's going on, pandas? Real quick, uh, I want to show you guys this video. This is the video that actually led to um, an ESC, I guess, going bad and then destroying motors. So uh, I want to show you guys this footage. This is actually a maiden flight after I rebuilt this quad with the uh, Emax bullets, 30 amp in the um, in the red bottoms, 2205s, 2300 KV. And it was supposed to go, I would do this flight, um, just see how it performed, you know, without the extra weight, and then slap on my Polaroid Cube, which uh, at this time I was hoping it would carry it because before the rebuild, I had a Rich SR 2205s on there, same KV, and it, it wasn't having it, it was super sluggish, so um <clears throat> did a rebuild and this was the maiden flight and i crashed at the end of this and i guess an esc just i don't know what the poop oh wait but also um after i crashed what i realized was my problem my prop nuts were loose so the blades were kind of you know loosely spinning so i'm thinking maybe i don't know i drew too many amps trying to get the power i wanted because it, it definitely felt heavy and i was flying uh without the camera it felt a lot heavier than my than the racer star build which i just couldn't wrap my head around so um yeah, after I crashed, I saw the prop nuts for loose. So I, I guess that's what, <clears throat> maybe that's what killed the ESC. I don't know. I've never lost one from crashing, except from a prop, uh, prop strike. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's what happened. So I, I did a rebuild, and ESC took a poop, smoked a motor, brand new motor, <laughs> brand new ESC. Uh, rebuilt it again, as you, <clears throat> uh, as you may or may not know. You shouldn't know. But yeah, rebuilt it again, um, and here we are now. So I'm going to show you the footage of the motor actually smoking. Um, I, I I put it in, plugged, I plugged one in, a different motor, soldered it up, and plugged it in. Gave it some power to see what will happen. So uh, stick around, enjoy the footage, and at the end of this, we'll have um, the actual flight with the camera uh, showing you carried it, uh, showing showing you that it actually carries the camera uh, with the new build. But um, oh yeah, I had a lot. A lot of noise going on for some reason, so I couldn't I couldn't fly like I wanted to because I didn't I didn't feel comfortable. So I gotta figure that out. Where's that extra noise coming from? Uh, but yeah, next video coming up or the next uh, next part's coming up. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm UAV Panda. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, what we got going on is I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when a ESC destroys a motor. Interesting enough, it smells terrible. <laughs> Uh, actually, what's so what's going on? Uh, just a little update or background on this shit. Um, I had uh, my original quad, like my first quad ever. Uh, I purchased. I didn't build it. I bought it pre-built here in town, a local shop, and uh, it came with these uh, shit. It came with these racer stars, uh, 2205, 2300 KVs, and I mean shit, they work great. I, I no problems whatsoever. Uh, performance no issues only thing i ran into recently was it couldn't carry a camera and by camera i mean oh shit it couldn't carry this uh this polaroid cube so um i was like well shit i guess it's time for a rebuild you know show that baby some love i think i got it back in july so it wasn't that long ago <clears throat> but um yeah like it, it gave me yeah these motors are solid if you're looking for a cheap eight nine dollar seven dollar motor or whatever these racer stars are not bad whatsoever. Now they have an S version. Um, or not an S version, but they have a yeah, I think an S version of this. And I think it's a little bit more slimmer. Uh, kind of like, you know, the Emax uh, original red bottoms, and then you got the S now, so uh, a little smaller like that, but I hear those are terrible uh, compared to these. So don't waste your money on those. Just go ahead and go with the originals. Uh, get it out the way. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to show you guys is uh, what it looks like when a motor smokes. Like, I've, I've never had one do it until recently. Um, what it was is I rebuilt this with the Emax. Uh, I got the whole little, it was a whole little kit that came together uh, with the motors and the ESCs uh, all in one. So I put all that on there and I did a maiden flight with it and I crashed and I tried out turtle mode because I haven't been able to get turtle mode to work for some reason. So I tried it out and it was actually trying to work. But uh, as I was walking up and trying it out, I was making this weird like electric fucking i don't know something weird noise and i kind of smelled something too but i didn't see smoke so i was like eh you know maybe it's just like new electronic smell or some shit i don't know uh but it definitely wasn't it was a motor smoking so i burnt out this one right here uh was destroyed so that sucks still feels good i don't i don't know what happens when 
uh, if someone could like drop a comment below. I don't know what happens when um, an ESC actually destroys a motor, like what's causing it, where this is like over amperage or what, but uh, yeah, this bad boy is definitely done. And the only thing I can think of that contributed to the failure of the ESC is after I crashed, I realized that all the prop uh, nuts were loose, which they were kind of tight when I got them on there, but also when I was putting them on, I noticed um, it seems like I couldn't get them as tight as I wanted to, like they're a little bit stiffer than the other one, so. Um, I'm going to have to find, or just get a better grip on the motor and just, you know, wrench them down, get them on there good. But, so, it, it, you know, flying, it felt like, um, it felt like the quad was a lot heavier. Like, it took a whole lot more throttle to get the same power I was getting on the, um, the Racer Star, uh, set up. So, I, I kind of figured something was off. I'm like, there's no way these aren't making more power. But, yeah, the prop nuts were loose. So, I guess the motors were sp trying to spin up more to get the thrust I wanted. I don't know. Uh, so that's the only thing I think of is maybe I burnt one out, you know, doing that uh, with, with the nuts loose. Like I said, it crashed, but I've never seen a crash take out an ESC unless a prop actually struck it, so, um, which I have had. And, yeah, the prop hit it, ESC took shit, understandable. Um, but now, <clears throat> I'm hoping it's not the bullets themselves. I, I've heard great things about the bullets. And I like Emacs products, um, good stuff all around, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say... I caused that failure, maybe, uh, with the loose nuts. Uh, like I said, if you got any, if you got any idea what could have caused it, drop a uh, comment below, let me know. Educate me a little bit. Uh, I'm no pro at this, but uh, I do know burnt when I smell it and smoke when I see it. So, yeah, something went wrong. But I'm going to, um, real quick, I'm going to show you guys the, the maiden flight at the rebuild with the 22, uh, or, or with the Emacs 2205s. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you that maiden flight at that rebuild. And let you guys check that out real quick, and then we'll come back in, and I'll show you the whole fucking smoke situation. So, uh, go watch that. Uh, while you're watching that, I'll be here, uh, taking off this motor, put a new one on, you ready to fucking destroy it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, one, two, three, check it. Alright, guys, so here we go. Um, yeah, so first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna hook up to the computer, and then we're gonna plug in for some power. I'm gonna say, try, don't try this at home, because... I'm not really sure what could go wrong with this ESC, uh, bugging the fuck out, but I thought it was interesting once I saw it. Alright, so that's powered up, everything's working fine. So what we're going to do simply is I'm going to go into the uh, motor tab, uh, turn the motors on, and then we're going to give that motor power and you're going to see smoke instantly. Let's see. One, two. Uh, it's gonna be motor three. Got it selected. All right, here we go. Fucking crossing fingers, shit don't blow in my face. You should see smoke pretty quick. Oh, there it is. There's the smoke. Yep, it's working. It is working just fine. <laughs> so yeah, I got a bad ESC as you can see. So um, oh, let's get back to the table, and uh, I'll show you guys uh, what we're gonna do. Alright, so now that y'all seen that go down, um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna replace that ESC. Um, first off, think for my shit. Excuse my mess. Um, it's kinda how I like it. Not really. It just kinda happens, really. Alright, so there's the ESC. Bam. And where's that fresh motor at? Bam. That's your fresh motor. So I'm just gonna swap these out. Um, swap out that ESC. Swap off that motor, and hopefully we won't have any more issues. So we got a brand new 2205, 2300 kV, uh, red bottom mass, ready to go. Stop that bad boy on there. And then our bullets. Stop another bullet on there, 30 amp. And we should have a solid flying quad. Hopefully, hopefully what really happened, like I said, was the prosper too loose, and I was just giving it hell. And I just destroyed one, so we'll slap this stuff on there, and then we're gonna go out, uh, maiden it again, and hopefully this time uh, we'll know because I, I looked at what was it? I, I I did some looking yesterday, and I want to see the thrust numbers um, of the these racer stars, uh, 2205, 23, same KVSD, uh, Emacs bullets or uh, red bottoms. I want to see a weight difference or thrust difference. And these uh, on the low end, they were making about five something, and on the high end, I'll say 900. Um, 
whereas the red bottoms were coming in no less than a thousand I don't think and like almost maxed at 1300 so um, of course that's that's for different prop variations and such but um, I don't think we're gonna have a problem carrying this this time hopefully not hopefully not because I really want to bring you guys some HD footage um, and this is all I have right now and it works great I mean it works fine I've, I've tested it out you know it looks good uh, it's not a sessions, but and I, I do have a GoPro which I'm recording with right now, but I just don't have a fucking a suitable mount for it. It's a plus, so it doesn't come out the case as you guys know, so it's kind of stuck in there. But whatever. Um, yeah, so let me get this. Let me get this rebuilt, and then we'll head out to my testing grounds and take it up for a spin. See you guys at the field. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we got the quad in air with the uh, cube on it, as you can see. She's flying just fine, no issues whatsoever. She even still feels uh, light and nimble, so that's definitely a plus. I think we got the results we wanted. Um, I didn't really go all out on this one, uh, or ever do I do I ever go all out? But yeah, like I said in the beginning, I had some um, had some reception issues. Like I said, a lot of noise uh, for some reason. And this is um, <clears throat> this is actually I destroyed the the original Omnibus F3. It took a poop after like two huge crashes for some reason. Um, so I replaced it with an Omnibus F4, and uh, this is this is that flight controller on here. So um, so far so good. Loving the quad. This may actually be. Uh, I have my Mach 1, which is supposed to be my race quad, and uh, it, it definitely has a ton more power. But uh, this this is my baby, man. This is this is the first quad. So you know my my day one gets the most love, uh, of course. At least for me, that's the situation. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so this is it. Uh, everything works great now. No problems whatsoever. The quad seems to be doing good. Uh, the pops I'm using are the uh, Emax 5050s. Um, I think I like them a lot. I'm, I'm gonna give the what are they? The Flash Gym Fan Flash 5052s or 5152s a try. Um, I'll run the Bob Blades. I'm gonna try the uh, Tri Blades for this one. I'll keep the Bob Blades on the Mach 1. Uh, it loves it. But uh, <clears throat> this one here, I, I may give it a shot. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, thanks for joining. Everything looked good, as you can see. And, yes, uh, hit the like button, subscribe for uh, more great videos. I'm going to try to make this stuff a little bit more professional. Uh, just starting out with this. Um, we'll get better as we go, so just stick around. Uh, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. I'll take whatever. Uh, so let me know what can be better and what you'd like to see. Hopefully I can get it done for you. But I really want this time to go uh, big time, so... Yeah, uh, UAV Panda out, smash the like button, hit subscribe, see you guys next time.